think we're now with defined durations of treatment, um, one hypothesis, one expectation really is that um, all of those treatment options will be maintained as options upon relapse uh, because patients won't have progressed or won't have um, um, developed um, at least overt clinical resistance to any of those agents. Um, I think that's something that does need to be tested though. Um, there are some initial data from venetoclax trials that patients that had um, complete remissions on venetoclax um, stopped and then resumed venetoclax again upon progression had equally excellent resp uh, responses the second time. Uh, but I think if we see that uh, repeated in other trials that will give us more confidence that we're preserving all of our treatment options with this strategy. Otherwise, yeah, for patients that um, um, stay on either a BTK inhibitor or, or, or um, have progression on a, a BCL2 inhibitor or have to stop either agent due to toxicity, um, then yeah, I think it is pretty clear that switching to the other class is right now the standard of care in the, the second line of treatment. Although we are uh, fortunate to have many other treatment options in the second line to um, PI3 kinase inhibitors and, and certainly other clinical trials.